definitely, it challenged me to step out of my comfort zone mm -hmm. of, um, for example, I worked on a monologue last time, and it was a monologue that I hadn't touched in years, and it was something that I had been struggling with, and like facing it was not on my agenda, and it really made me step up to the plate and tackle that, that fear of just doing it. So it was in cycle number three, it was with um, Sequoia, so I mentioned that I was interested in doing dialect work or voice and speech work at that time, and um, Sequoia mentioned that she was looking for a dialectician, and it just sort of worked out perfectly, and um, we met, and I worked with her on the RP dialect, um, and gave her a bunch of resources, gave her things to listen to, recordings of me doing different words, gave her uh, transcriptions and all of that, and um, it was really great, and I think it was helpful for her, hopefully, <laughs> um, but it was really cool to do it and just meet up and have that experience, because it had been a while since I worked with an actor, I've been working with patients and older people, young kids, um, so to do dialect work, but with my knowledge of um, the anatomy and physiology of the tongue and the mouth and all of that stuff, um, it was really cool to combine. I guess in the first cycle it was more about uh, actually knowing that I could do it and that I could actually sit down and get the goal done. Um, as far as this cycle revelation, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> um, we did just start. Yeah. We did just start.